everybody. Welcome back. Monday morning briefing episode number 122. It is Sunday, August the 4th, and we're in here uh, today on Sunday trying to get packed up and ready to go for Waco, which will begin on Tuesday. Our first class is uh, Tuesday morning. I believe that's going to be the um, advanced tooling class, I think is what we're teaching on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is our guitar strap class. And then Thursday morning is our beginner's tooling class. So if you're coming to our classes there at Waco, we're excited to meet you, excited to have you in the classroom, and uh, hopefully we'll learn something good. We've got quite a few uh, workshops this year at Waco. I, I don't know what the last number was, but they've got a full load. So there's still a lot of openings, a lot of workshops at the uh, Waco Leather Trade Show that are available. So if you're if you're coming to Waco, maybe last minute deal and you've got a little extra day or two that you can come early and want to take a workshop, there are some available. You can go to uh, Leather Crafters and Saddlers Journal's website and see what they've got available, see what classes are there. All of ours are full, but um, and we want to thank everybody that signed up for those workshops and we're excited to get there. We've been hustling in here trying to get, I got everything cut for our guitar strap class. We've got uh, our new pattern pack. Those that are taking that class will get an updated guitar strap pattern that we will have available. Um, when we get back, that product will be available to everybody, but for now, only the ones that are taking our class will get that pattern pack. Um, we're trying to get all our materials together, all of our tools, make sure that I travel with enough stuff. Um, usually in my tooling classes, I have a set kit that I take with me, but now with a project class, I've got to add some other pieces and make sure we've got everything. Um, but then as far as the tooling classes, we've got some new patterns that we're going to tool in those classes and, uh, and getting ready for that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the shop is an entire wreck. I know I say that all the time because it's a workshop. And if your workshop is very clean and tidy and orderly, um, I don't know how you do it. If, you, if your shop is that way, I don't know how you do it. Mine's never that way. We're always in, in kind of a, a, little, a little controlled chaos in here, but that's because we're always buzzing around and doing stuff. We were working in our station or trying to get stuff shipped or trying to get stuff cut. Um, we got another load of leather come in right before or last week, so right before Waco, and we are cutting a bunch of material packs for Waco, so we will have those available in our booth. And, um, and so we're excited for that, so we should have plenty of stuff. And uh, don't worry, guys, when we get back from Waco, we will have all those available as well, which they're, I think we're still full on everything on the website. If we're not, we'll update that because we do have plenty. But yeah, we'll be leaving, um, we'll be leaving tomorrow, uh, Monday, and, uh, and we'll be back after the show, obviously. So what I want to, I just want to mention that, that if you're not going to Waco and you're, you're watching our videos and stuff and you're ordering stuff, just understand that if uh, any orders that were placed Friday after lunch, basically, they will not ship until we get back because we're leaving early tomorrow um, to get on the road and get up there and get our classroom set up. So um, anything that was ordered after uh, last Friday, August the 2nd, um, after about noon or so, those will not go out until we get back. So I'm estimating by the 14th, which is a Wednesday. So we'll be back Sunday, but we've got to put the shop back together, get everything organized, make sure we get everything back where it goes, and then we'll start processing shipments. So you're more than welcome to go to the website and order anything that you need. Um, but if you are in a pinch and need it fast, just to understand it will not ship next week. I repeat, it will not ship next week. So if you order anything, um, if you're watching this video, just understand that, that don't, don't pay for two day shipping or any of that and understand that two day shipping is from the time I give it to the post office. So if we're booked up on shipments or something, um, sometimes they don't go out that very day, right? So just understand that it's uh, we don't charge a shipping and handling fee. Um, if that becomes an issue, you know, we can always do that too. If people just have to have it go out that day, um, you know, we can kind of figure that out. But right now we don't charge a, a, a handling fee of that product. We do charge shipping fees, but, um, but just understand that we'll be out of the shop all day, all this coming week. And so, um, if you do order something, it'll get to you when we get back. Um, we, like I said, I think I mentioned in the last video or one of the earlier ones, we are, we, we, we are looking at um, adding some personnel that can handle that kind of stuff seasonally. As we go to a show, maybe we can get it set up to where the shop is operational, functioning just as normal, even though we're out of the shop. And so hopefully that may, that may happen. We may have a trial run of that in October when we go to Wichita Falls, and that'll be the next show that we hit. The last show of the year will be Wichita Falls in October, um, and we'll talk about that later. But but right now, all eyes are on Waco. We're getting ready to go to that. I've heard from a lot of you guys that are going, and um, I'm just excited to meet everybody. We have um, quite a few friends. We've got a lot of stuff going on. 
um, with Maker's Leather Supply as far as his, uh, we're doing the, the leather shootout. So that, if you got registered for that, um, I'll be judging that. I think judging is on Wednesday evening, but I'll be judging judging those with, along with a lot of other judges. They'll be judging the different categories, so that'll be fun. Aaron has his booth set up for the, um, the belts for people in need, people that need belts, things like that. He's gonna have that booth set up. From what I'm hearing, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be pretty neat. So you're gonna be able to, while you're at the show, you wanna kill you know, 20 minutes, you can run through that booth, grab you a belt blank, emboss it. And you know, it's nothing fancy. We're not gonna do any kind of you know, real stitching or anything on there, but you can go through there and make as many belts as you want, throw them in the box. They'll be handed out to uh, folks in need that need belts. And so that's a, for a really good cause. You know, Aaron's. Aaron's gone through a lot of work here to, to get this going, and I think it's gonna be a really neat deal. I think it's gonna be real successful. So bring your maker stamp when you do that so you can put your maker stamp on the belt that you make, and that way whoever receives that belt will know who took the time to, uh, um, to put that together. Um, and then I think Aaron's got a bunch of other stuff going on. Of course, the kickoff party will be Thursday evening, um, and uh, that's always a fun time, but he's got some other things going and planning. You can go to his website or go to his uh, social media or YouTube and hear about some of those things. Um, but yeah, this, this year at Waco is going to be pretty exciting. It's, uh, it, it has been every year, but it seems like it's growing with the, with the amount of little things that are going on. Um, and I think Joe Melling and I are probably going to do some kind of demonstration or something inside the booth um, Friday and Saturday. So we'll be kind of piddling around and in the booth and doing things. So come by the booth and check it out and see what we're doing. Um, it's not gonna be anything big and extravagant, but I think him and I both are kind of playing around with the idea of doing some stuff with Aaron um, and just kind of kind of doing some application stuff in the booth um, while you're you know shopping around and stuff. You can check that out. But yeah, there's just been a lot going on. Yesterday we were out of the shop all day. I, I, I really didn't need to lose a day in the shop, just this close to Waco trying to get everything done, which we're a little bit ahead of the game, I feel like, as far as our cutting and packing up stuff. Um, unfortunately, we had a, a really good friend and a good man um, that passed away and we had to go to his funeral and um, went, up, went up to Bryan College Station and went to that funeral and it was amazing. Um, it was a very, very, very great uh, celebration of life for him and uh, we were sad to to see him go but um, it was kind of unexpected but he was a he was a very good man and uh, so we went and attended that yesterday and then um, I've got some family down my brother's down from Nashville and so we visited with him yesterday evening and, and hung out at mom's a lot and stuff and uh, just kind of he's leaving today and so we're back on back on track here in the shop just try to wrap some things up and get some things loaded up so we can head out tomorrow and uh, and get rolling um, as many of y'all saw, if you follow me on Instagram, we did finish a couple saddles last week, um, last week or the week before. Anyway, got those two I was working on finished, um, got them, got them gone out of here. And now we've got a couple more started. I've got some trees that came in. I was waiting on some trees. So this one over here, if you saw our social media where I was mocking up the uh, poster board skirts and stuff, I'm just kind of playing with a skirt idea, trying to kind of refine, refine my uh, round skirts on some ranch saddles and things like that. And so I was just kind of having fun with that. Um, waiting on some trees. They came in, so now we're starting those and um, we're moving on to the next customers on the list and trying to get those saddles all caught up so they're so they're out of the way and stuff and we can get them off the list and, and move on to building some more um, saddles just for inventory and stuff like that as my books are closed. So we're not taking any new orders on saddles. So we're just kind of playing with that and uh, staying busy in the shop. Got some repairs out of here. Um, I've got one or two more that I need to put back together. We'll tend to those when we get back from Waco. And um, we've also got a little interview thing that's going to happen when we get back from Waco. And um, we'll probably talk about that more later because I don't know. Some people have a real good schedule with their with their content creation that they do. And they have a good schedule and kind of how they release, you know, their information and stuff. So I don't want to I don't want to ruin that. So but it's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited about it. It'll be a good deal. Um, so that'll happen right when we get back. And um, and as far as our podcast, we did have a new one drop, um, I guess, week before last with Scott Reed. He's a knife maker out of uh, Oklahoma. This guy's really cool. He's really fun to talk to. Um, every time him and I get on the phone, I end up visiting with him for quite a while, which isn't surprising. I like to visit with folks. Um, but the podcast was very interesting. We, we tapped into a, quite a few different topics and things. And of course, his business is completely different than mine um, because he's a knife maker. So, but as far as the inner workings of the business and things he struggles with, the things that he's seen and trying to trying to uh, you know make the efficiencies a little better and different things like that, it's all very similar. So I think you'll get a lot out of that episode. Um, so check that out. You can go to Lost Trade. 
on Spotify or Apple. Just search that, or you can go to our website at dgsalary.com and sign, and then um, just click on podcast. And when you click on podcast, it'll pull up a player, and his episode will be the newest one on there. Got quite a few episodes. If you don't know about the podcast, hit that and and try to you know binge listen to a bunch of those. There's a lot of good folks in uh, in the Western lifestyle trades that we've had on, and it's just interesting to hear their story and kind of things that they that they struggle with or that they learned or the way they, their processes and things that they do in their businesses, it can, it can probably help you in your shop as well. Just hearing those stories and, and kind of what they're dealing with. But yeah, guys, that's really all I've got. Um, it's going to be real short and sweet today because I'm going to get back there and get to cutting and finish up what I was started, what I started Friday and kind of get everything boxed up, make sure we've got enough inventory, everything packed up, ready to stick in the trailer. That's a whole situation there trying to fit everything and get everything in there and make sure that we don't forget anything and so we're excited to see you in waco if you're going if you're not going um we'll try to update you as much as we can once we get there and get the booth set up you know classes things like that we'll be putting stuff out on social media and of course when we get back we'll probably run a little sale or something so be ready for that when we get back um, in the shop but otherwise go to dgsaddlery.com sign up for the leathercraft newsletter and we'll see you guys in the next monday morning briefing